Hey, thank you for joining me again for another 3D video in Blender. Today we're going to be moving through our farming series by modeling a tractor. Now, I know that all the farming games out there have a horse as their main mode of transportation, and I know that the logical vehicle for a farming game would be a horse, but I already modeled a horse in my fantasy RPG series. So today we're going to try to make a cool tractor, so let's go ahead and open up a brand new Blender session and we'll get started. So let's start off by making the main body of the tractor. Now when I was looking for inspiration for a tractor, there were a ton of different models out there to choose from. I'm going to try to keep this design compact and simple because farming games are all about simple living and being in nature. So I want to kind of minimize how many industrial or high-tech aspects there are to this model set. We really don't want to move into commercial farming here. So to make the body, we're going to first import a cube and then mold it into the main body shape. And then I'm going to cut out small sections on either side to kind of expose the inner workings or whatever would be under the hood of the tractor. I'll probably do that by modeling a cutting shape and then using the boolean modifier to remove that from the main body. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to model are the wheels. So what I'm going to do is add a cylinder, add an edge loop that goes down the middle, and then I'm going to select all the vertices on the outside of the cylinder and rotate them. So this will actually end up creating a V shape with the vertices on the cylinder. So then I'm going to select every other V face and extrude those out. Then I might add some bevels to them just to make them a little bit softer. Then I can just mirror that wheel to the other side of the tractor and then mirror and scale them for the front wheels. Alright, that worked out pretty well. I actually never did that before, so I'm definitely going to remember that for the future. So now I'm going to actually connect the wheels to the tractor with the cylinder, and I'm also going to add a steering wheel using a torus, and add a seat using a simple cube. The tractor could also use an exhaust pipe, so I'm going to import a cylinder, I'm going to shape that into the exhaust pipe kind of shape on the front of the tractor, and then I'm going to use a solidify modifier to hollow it out.
Okay, so the last bit of detail that I want to add is just a couple of features under the hood of the tractor. These are mostly probably going to just be simple shapes like cylinders and cubes and won't at all be accurate to what would be kind of in that exposed mechanical part of a tractor, but I think it'll add a lot and kind of fill up that blank space there. In addition to that, I think I might cut out a couple of sections near the front of the tractor where the air intake would be, kind of where the grill of the car is, so I guess it would be the grill of the tractor. Um, so I'm just going to kind of cut out a couple of like rounded slots there. Alright, this is looking pretty good, so let's go ahead and add some color. Alright, the tractor is done. Like I said, farming games are all about living a simple, quiet life in the country, but I think that this tractor is simple enough that it'll be really useful on the farm without being too advanced. Either way, I really look forward to animating this guy. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions about this series or about 3D modeling, or you have a request for a future video, please leave that down in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure that if you know somebody that wants to get into 3D modeling for whatever reason, creating games, creating VR, creating 3D environments, 3D art, whatever it is, please send them this video. Alright, thank you again so much, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video.